Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole fully elect. So, Brother Isar, you went to Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechaha Kodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, and I just want to do a real quick lesson uh, going into something the elder apostle Aramlab was speaking on in his lesson uh, about you ain't as slick as you think you are. You know, and it's kind of going in the same vein of something that uh, Elder Mount Zabai spoke on recently in one of his live streams. It's something I touched on in my last lesson of, you know, having that fear of your high Bashimi, I was shy of knowing that he sees you. He sees what you do. He sees everything you do. All right. And knowing that nothing you do goes without <laughs> being exposed or seen, you know, like I just mentioned, the Lord sees it all. All right. So you can never really get too comfortable of, Oh, you know, I can get away with this. I can get away with that. No, every time you do something, you should know the Lord saw that. Damn, that wasn't good, especially if it was a bad thing. You know, you should be like, damn, I need to do better. The Lord saw that because he did see it, you know, and I'm just going to get a few precept. OK, now this is one the elder apostle Ramla brought out. All right. Then I got more, which it looks like I got. I may end up reading more of this because I got this twice. But anyway, let's read this first. Please ask 23 and 18. It says a man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me. I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The most high will not remember my sins. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Now, many of us have heard this. Okay, many of us have heard this. Okay, and the most high sees everything. Man, his eyes are brighter than the sun. Okay, and the sun reveals light or, or casts light upon all things. Okay. And see, the thing about the most high is it says it's brighter than the sun. OK, so not, you know, the sun can be blocked out by certain things and there can be shadows. But, you know, something brighter than the sun, 10,000 10, times brighter. There can be no room for shadows. OK, there's just no shadows. 20. He knew all things ever. OK, he knew all things were or uh, er, er, ever they were created. So also after they were perfected, he looked upon them all. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city, and where he sus suspecteth not, he shall be taken. Thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband, and bringeth in an heir by another. Okay? For first she hath disobeyed the law of the Most High, and secondly she hath trespassed against her own husband, and thirdly she hath played the whore in adultery, and brought children by another man. Okay? So there's three. There's three things. The first she left, so she disobeyed the law by leaving. Secondly, she hath trespassed. Okay? All right. And thirdly, uh, she trespassed against her own husband by disobeying his commandment, especially if he didn't want her to go. And thirdly, she had played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. Right. She shall be brought out into the congregation and inquisition shall be made of her children. Where do these babies come from? Her children shall not take root and her branches shall bring forth no fruit. She shall leave her memory to be cursed and a reproach shall not be blotted out. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than to than the fear of Yahweh, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Most High. Right, you know, there seems to be saying that they're gonna, she, they're, she's gonna be put to death, okay? Because it says they that that remain, okay? So that means that there's gonna be people that didn't die, <laughs> the people that own lookers. It's gonna be like, damn, we know not to do that, shit, because we know that we know that adultery is punishable by death. So what's the other outcome? If we go to the law, she died. She would have had to die because they had to kill her. Because the proof was the kids. The proof of that adulterous relationship was them babies. All right. Let's continue. Uh, Sirach 17 and 14 says, And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. This is speaking of the Israelites, right? Verse 15 says, Their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. Okay. So the Most High can see the works of the Israelites. You know, and as you go into this, let's just read some more. Every man from his youth is given to evil neither could they make themselves fleshly hearts for stony for in the division of the nations the whole of the whole earth he set a ruler over every people but israel is the lord's portion whom being his firstborn he nourisheth with discipline and giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him verse 19 is the point uh, the second point therefore all their works are as the sun before him and his eyes are continually upon their ways Okay, none of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Most High Yahweh. Right, so you know Yahweh Shimei Shai sees 
everything that you do, which that's what I want to get there. So I'm going to close that. He sees everything that you do, man. Nothing goes without being noticed by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh especially if you're an Israelite. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll get a precept. Let's lock you. Vibrations. Damn. Mike is strapped to the table, so it, uh, Amos 3 and 2 says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you for all your iniquities. Okay? So, Yahabashim Yahushua is looking intently upon his children. He's not worried about these other nations because they ain't his children. Okay? Now, they've done things against his children, and eventually he's going to recompense them because he's the most high. But right now, he's reprimanding his children and getting them getting them together. All right? Uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus 39 and 19 says at his commandment is done whatsoever pleaseth him pleaseth him and none can hinder when he, when he will save okay speaking of the most high the works of all flesh are before him and nothing can be hid from his eyes he seeth from everlasting to everlasting and there is nothing wonderful before him now uh the, you know what this is saying is you know, a lot of it's plain, okay? The works of all flesh are before him and nothing can be hid. Okay, then how about Shem Shai? You can't pull the wool over his eyes, you know, as the beautiful example that the apostle brought out, all right? You know, Ananias and Sapphira, okay? They were, they they lied. They were lying, okay, to the, to the, uh, to the apostle. I believe it was Peter, all right? About how much money they had actually made, okay? And, uh, you know, they couldn't hide that from the Holy Spirit, all right? And they were they died as a result of that lie, okay? The lock here. I got kind of close to the mic, probably a little loud, but um, but I want to read this part. It says, he seeth from everlasting to everlasting. He knows everything that is, has happened and is going to happen in the future. And there is nothing wonderful before him, <laughs> meaning ain't no surprises. You can't surprise the most. I ain't nothing that you can do. To surprise you, how about Shem Yahushua? Because he sees from everlasting to everlasting. He sees the whole timeline at once. He can fast forward, rewind, <laughs> however he want to do it. Okay? Whatever's pleasing unto him, as I said. And his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him. And none can hinder when he will save. So, you know, I just want to read that. You know, uh, Sirach 10 and 20 says, Among brethren, he that is chief is honorable. So are they that fear the Most High in his eyes. All right, so the Most High is looking upon them who uh, who uh, fear him, all right, and he holds them in honor, okay? Because, let me get this. Ecclesiasticus 18 and 27 says, A wise man will fear in everything, and in the day of sinning he will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe time, right? See? So, <laughs> a wise man will fear in all things. And not fear, you know, uh, you know, normal things. But the point is, we will fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in our every step. Scripture say, in all thy ways acknowledge him. Okay, I'll get that precept. I think I know it's in the book of Proverbs. Right? Proverbs 3 and 6 says, In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So, you know, acknowledging the Most High is giving reverence and having that fear and respect towards his ways, and he will direct you. I believe it says, uh, God, speak with mm -hmm. I don't press the wrong damn button. Low. What is this? What is this? Type too fast. Until one meek will he guide in judgment. That's it. Proverbs 25 and 9 says, The meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek will he teach his way. Okay. All right. So we want to have that respect and that reverence unto you. How about you? Have that fear. That's what this is embodying. Okay. Right here. Uh, wait, the one I closed already. Okay. A wise man will fear in all things. Okay. Which I seem to have closed that. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it up with this one here. Ecclesiastes 15 and 19. I'll start at actually 17. It says, Before man is life and death, and whether him liketh shall be given him. So, you know, 
by you doing certain things, you know, or refraining from certain things, you show the most high whether you like life or whether you uh, like death. All right. And whatever you desire, whatever you like unto, that's what the most high will eventually give you over to. OK, if you continually to sow to the flesh, you shall of the flesh reap corruption is what the scriptures tell us. Right. OK, so whatever him like, it shall be given or whatever the most high. Actually, you know, we can look at it like that, too. Whatever the most high like is that shall be given you. OK, but then also too, scriptures say. Uh, you have to be careful what you desire. OK. Psalms 37 and 4 said, delight thyself also in Yahweh and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. OK, so, you know. Sometimes you can desire something that's not good for you and it can, it can lead you astray as well. So you got to be be um, be mindful of that. You know, if you bother the Lord enough, he might give you that wicked thing, <laughs> you know, and it might fuck you up. OK, whether it take you out completely or not, you know, that's up to him. But Sirach 15 and 18 for the wisdom of the most high is great. And then like I so like in 17, it says, and whether him like it shall be given him. Right. So whatever the most high like if he'll give unto you. Verse 18 for the wisdom of the Lord is great. He is mighty in power and beholdeth all things and his eyes are upon them that fear him. And he knoweth every work of man. All right. He knows all the works of man. So we have to be mindful of that. The most I knows everything that we do. He knows our every step. He knows what we did last summer. <laughs> so like he knows, uh, you know, what you did last week. He knows what you did last night. He knows what you're doing right now. He knows everything. He knows the thoughts you have. He sees from everlasting to everlasting. And there is no thing that is wonderful unto him. Meaning he, he he's not going to wonder or marvel. Okay. And any particular thing, you know, how Paul said he marveled at the, at the harlot. Okay. At the well-favored harlot. Cause she was basically cause she was beautiful. He was, he was awestruck. He's like, Oh, what is this? You ain't gonna catch the most high off guard. You ain't gonna catch the most high off his square. He ain't, you know, you ain't no surprise in him. You can't out slick the slickster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> going into that lesson, Elder Apostle Ram not did. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakah Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wa Ba 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 Shalom.